you how to review your year, how to set your goals, and how to grow for the following year. So right now, the first thing we need to start with is where are you right now? There's no shame in this. There's no ups, downs. There's no emotion or meaning attached to it. It's just an assessment. Where are you? What does your business look like today? So here, here's what we do to, to assess our business. We collect data. That's it. There's no meaning. There's no, and this is something I want to really say, is that like when we're collecting data, there's not like good data or bad data or have good numbers or bad numbers or my profits or this, that. No, we're not assigning meaning to any of these things. We're just collecting the data. So how many bundles have you launched this year? Or how many products have you launched? How many, when I say launched, how many new things have you brought to Amazon? How many new listings have you created? How many sales have you made? How many units have you sold? What is your best selling product to date? And how much revenue have you generated off of that one product? These are numbers that people don't usually collect and they have no idea. Let me just be honest, at the drop of a dime, I should be able to ask you, what is your best selling product? You might not know how much, how many units you've sold of that item or how much profit is actually in there, but it shouldn't take long for you to gather that information. What are your top three selling products? You should know. And there's no shame or badness if you don't. It's, you don't know what you don't know. So what we, what we need to keep track of are some of these numbers. How many products have you launched? How many bundles have you launched? How mm, how many units have you sold? What is your average selling price? These are numbers that Amazon gives you now. Your ASP, your average selling price of each unit. Here's one that most people don't know. How many hours do you work on average on your business? On and in your business managing all the things. How many hours, average hours a week do you work? Average weekly hours. So how much, how much time do you spend on your business? Collect all the different data points. What's your total profit for the year? And if you average work 10 hours a week for that profit every week for the whole year, how much are you making per week? Even if you're not keeping it, which you know I'm an advocate for, you can still collect all these numbers. If you're not much of a data collection person, you need to become one. It's one of those skills that you need in your business. Because if I sat here and said, I have a free hour and I want to give you a free coaching session and what are your data points and how can we improve them? You should be ready. You should be ready. Be ready to produce those numbers. I know a lot of people don't like numbers and this is not accounting and bookkeeping either. This is just simply collecting the data that's pretty much already there for you. You can go to your Amazon accounts. You can go to your reports. You can sort by highest, especially if you have inventory lab. If you have in inventory lab, you can sort by your pr most profitable ASIN in your reports. You can sort by which item has sold the most this whole year, which vendor is your most profitable. If you've entered the information correctly, you can let sort by vendor ascending to descending and it will show you or descending to ascending slowest to not. So collect your data and get a fair assessment about where you are in your business. 